What's up, YouTubers? Cthulhu back with this week's weekly wrap-up, and once again, I am donned in my awesome robe of justice. Um, it's cold down here, what can I say? Um, it, you may be wondering, well, if it's so cold, I'm sure you have heat. Yes, I do. I have two heating options, actually. Make sure my camera doesn't fall. There is... Behind, the, the first thing in the foreground is a little space heater, which is what I generally use. The thing attached to the wall is a propane gas heater. It could heat this whole room in probably less than five minutes. However, as you will notice, right above it is the bulk of my collection. And right down, less than a foot away from that is the rest of my collection, my 360, and my LCD TV. Now, fun fact, if you don't know, heat and plastic and LCDs do not mix. <laughs> So, uh, I mean, you might be saying, well, it might not affect it that much. I mean, aren't you cold? I am a little bit cold. Uh, honestly, though, I'm comfortable with this, and I usually run the little space here. I'm just not now because I thought the noise might interfere with the video. Um, but before my collection was on those shelves, it was uh, my mom had uh, old school Disney VHSs, and the packages of those just got wrecked. So I'm good. Worst comes to worst, I'll just get a blanket. But anyway, uh, as far as the internet wrap-up for this week, um, I didn't really get to peruse the internet that much this week. Early on in the week, I went and got a treatment for my bad back, my pinched nerve, which uh, involved getting uh, a shot in my back and uh, a little bit of muscle therapy. And now I'm on a regimen of steroids to like the mid of next week. Basically, the nerve is inflamed and irritated and it makes my left leg not work and just extreme pain I got to the point I couldn't stand it so I used the last little bit of money I had to uh, I'm trying to fix the glare of the TV and my glasses I didn't realize how bad it would be um, but I don't know where my remote have just ah there it is doesn't know where my remote disappeared to um, so anyway um, and uh, kinda wore me out uh, they actually ended up because when they went because I told them it mainly manifested itself in my leg in my left leg they were you know inspecting it as doctors do and they're like holy crap you basically like have had this huge knot charlie horse thing in your leg for like way too long so they gave me a little bit of a muscle relaxer too and with the uh, steroid shot that went directly into my back or hip area back so needless to say I was very sleepy and couldn't walk for a couple of days. Leg didn't hurt, which was a plus, and it's actually doing better now, in case anybody cares. But, um, so I just wasn't on the internet. I did find a couple gems here and there. Here on YouTube, a video called Horror Cat. That's H-O-R-R-O-R, -R -R, as in horror movie, not horror cat. Horror cat. Um, just like a little funny cat video some kind of dramatic horror music like it's here it's watching and the camera pans up and it's seemingly like the cat just teleports to in front of the camera um dorkly.com had a couple of gems honestly i really didn't get around the internet this one uh this week um and that's why this in my review is a day late as i mentioned um but anyways um a little bit of a channel update info i got some stuff planned um kind of a new series I might start on the channel. I'm not sure what I'll call it. It'll be something like Adventures in Retail or Amazing Stories. Something like that. I've worked a lot of retail jobs, which means, if you don't know that, if you don't know what retail means, man, I can't talk right. I'm tired and hungry. I'll go with that excuse. Um, <laughs> retail is just dealing with customers, you know, like the cashier at your CVS, which I've had a job. I've worked at bunch of gas stations on the graveyard shift and I've seen some pretty amusing and interesting things at least I think so so I'll probably just get on here or something like this share a story I want you to know it will all be a hundred percent true uh, when I can I will if I know the person will watch the video I will definitely ask them to comment to like prove it and it could be interesting it could be boring I don't know we'll see how it goes um and then uh, one of my buddies got a flip cam for Christmas. We've been planning a couple things. So hopefully we'll get those going. And, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and then some other good news. i uh, got a little ray of sunshine since uh, the new toy year is about ready to hit come February. 
We got a new Lego Hero Factory. The Lego DC Universe is already out in some places. Uh, new Thundercat toys are due to hit in late February, March, I believe. And the job search hasn't gone so well so far, but uh, I do have a little ray of hope and that I can find a little bit of money enough each week to at least get a figure. So keep the reviews coming of some new stuff um, to you guys. And um, let's see, anything else? I just want to thank everybody who watches my vids, honestly, and subscribes. Um, again, back to the Master Chief video, it's above 400 views now. I wish even half of those would sub me. So if there's something I'm doing wrong to where you would watch a video that many times and but not sub me or look at my channel, let me know. Please leave in the comments. I'm open to suggestions. Um, but do be aware of my limited budget. I have two web cameras, this kind of sort of crappy one and the one I do my reviews with. But they are both fixed web cameras. I don't you know, like I said, I got plans with my buddy with his flip cam, but that's still in the works because um, he stays pretty busy. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, some gaming news this week on Xbox Live. We got uh, two games and a costume pack for Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Uh, the games were Amy, which is kind of like an old PS2 game called Ico, where you lead someone around, but with zombies. It was horrible. <laughs> like, it could have been really cool, but it just, it was boring. Story never went anywhere. Bleh. Definitely try the demo on that one before you buy it. Uh, the other one, Choplifter HD. It's actually pretty good. I mean, it's 1,200 points. Amy's like 800. Choplifter's pretty solid. I was about like that close to buying it, but I'm saving my points for a couple other things I know were coming. So, but it's pretty good if you've never played the original. You're basically like a chopper and you fly. You'll have enemies to shoot and you pick up people and you have to worry about your fuel and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. Check it out. Um, but yeah, so sorry for the late vid and sorry this one's kind of boring on internet news. But like I said, I just haven't been on the computer that much this week because I was sleepy because of uh, pills and all this stuff. I mean, when you go for about a year of your leg feeling like you got a Charlie horse every day and then all of a sudden it doesn't, it's very relaxing. <laughs> um, but anyway, so I guess that'll do it for this week's wrap up of the week of January 13th. It was a Friday the 13th. Hopefully no hockey masked people uh, stalked you on that day. Uh, you get that reference? Anyway. <laughs> but, uh, like I said, I got some stuff planned for next week, and uh, nothing else. We'll have the wrap up and the review, so stay tuned.